This is the Avocet Altimeter watch that we purchased for your use to scout your routes and get elevation gains for each of your routes. Uh, it's a watch designed for hikers and skiers, but it's particularly good for our purposes because you can use it on your bike or in the car when you drive. Uh, the operation is very simple. It is set up when you take it out of the box to be exactly where you need it to be, and the only uh, buttons you need to worry about are the stop start button here on the right and the adjust button over here on the left. Um, the top where the zeros are, that is where your total, al your total altitude will appear. The number below, ignore that number, but that's the number that will reflect the rate of gain or descent as you're going, as you're driving or riding your bike. So when you're ready to start your ride, and be sure to do it at the beginning of the ride. Don't start it too early. Um, just start it at the beginning. And you need to just push your stop start button once. I need to hold the watch so it'll stay steady. You push the stop start button once. You'll hear a little beep. And you'll see the arrow right here blinking. And it should be pointed up and blinking. If it's not blinking, that means it will not record. Um, at that point, you just ride or drive the entire route, and at the end of the route, you'll just push your stop button again, just like this. This is what the watch will look like when you're done riding your route. Here is your total altitude gain for the day. Your little arrow here is still blinking. So what you do now is you stop the watch and use the stop start button right here. I'll just hold the watch again. You stop it. You hear a little beep. And once you've noted your altitude gain for that route and you're ready to do the next route, you need to reset the watch. And you do that by pushing the adjust button once. The numbers will blink. The adjust button is right here. You see the numbers blink. You hit stop start one more time. It will zero out the numbers. And then you push adjust one more time. If you find that you've pushed the wrong button, primarily one of the, the red buttons down here, this one, the function button or the option button, there are full manufacturer directions at the bottom of the box that will help explain how to get back to the, al the uh, altitude accumulation function page of the watch. But they're hard to push, so you shouldn't probably have any reason to push them in error, but you know, you might. Uh, the most important thing to remember is to start it in the beginning and stop it at the end. Sometimes uh, when I first had this watch, I had one just like it for my altitude for years, and that was the most difficult part, was remembering to start it and to stop it. Um, but otherwise, it's very, very simple to operate, and it gives you very accurate numbers, and I think you'll be quite happy.